Hey guys, how you doing today? I figured I'll do a video on how to uh, keep track of the condition of your coins. I'm sure many of you have stacked some coins here and there and you know sitting in the box for many years and you don't really look at it and then maybe one day you you do um you know you take out some of these coins out of the box and you're like, "Ooh, something's wrong with my coin, right?" So what you want to do is obviously look for two things. Um toning and you want to look for milk stains or milk spots, right? So let me give you an example of um, toning. Here, this one here is a, a Libertad, fairly new. I just bought this recently, and is everything is fine, and it's in a flip, right? If you keep it in a flip, obviously it's going to be exposed to air, and if you know any of your hand oils or something gets on the coin, eventually it could turn into tarnish or toning so um, that's exactly what happened to this guy here there's toning around the bottom here that you can see visibly right and even in the back uh, you can see a little bit over there so that's one thing to look out for but the good thing about toning is that you could use a solution called e-zest or easy jest or something like that um, and uh, remove this by dipping the coin into a solution. Now, regarding the solution, I'll cover that towards the end of the video. Uh, right now, I just want to show you the visuals of the coin in uh, all kinds of conditions here. So this is one that this is one of my first um, Libertas that I ever bought. It's a 2011, all right? And I left it in this capsule, but I think I touched it by hand when I took it out of the flip, and you know, every, I I use some type of solution to clean this but again it's like this um, back back to the toning here um, what kind of um, uh, solution did I use at the time um, I didn't know about easy jest so there was like a uh, a way to wash this off with like baking soda and a couple of other things and so if I can find that instructions I'll leave it towards the end of the video too Oh, sorry about that. The battery ran out, so I had to uh, restart. But uh, we were talking about toning, and now let's talk about milk stains. And one example I have is this guy, which you can probably see there, right? You can see over here, over here. So this is something you got to look out for, but uh, milk stains are a little bit tricky in that you know if it's overtly outward like you can see like this that's already bad to begin with but a lot of times when you um, look for milk stains it's very hard to see so um, especially in in the case of a uh, uh, an area where it's like a matted area like this panda head like you're not going to be able to see the milk stain so easily on that part so let me give you an example of milk stain on Perth Mint coin here, which is rare to see milk stains on Perth Mint coins, but you can get them. And you know, if you just look at it closely here, um, you don't really see it, right? But you got to use a light, okay? You got to use a light to find these little guys or like very thin layers of uh, milk stains. And so if I put the light on there, do you see on the left side behind the back of the head um, there's a little white smudge which oh sorry I'm gonna show you here right right around this area right that is a milk stain um, that it's not visible when I turn it off it's really hard to see unless you really look for it right so the light that you're seeing is coming from this. This is a um, Eschenbach loop with an LED light on the back here and you get like two other different colors that you could put like the shielding here. The light is underneath and I get the yellow uh, lens here. Um, so you can you can check this out. There's a little bit more down there I think and lighting is very important for checking milk spots okay now as far as like hairline scratches and things like that uh, little blemishes um, 
for those of you who are looking to really grade coins like you know you guys got the swan coins right and you wanted to make sure that the, the brand new coins that you bought don't have any scratches or flaws with that I recommend I mean you can use this one here which I'll show you where to get them towards the end of the video um, but um, I do like this one this is um, also from the same company made in Germany it's just Eschenbach it's the Alplanatic uh, lens and it pops out like this and this has probably the best lens that I've used so far um, I don't know if I can show you how good this is through the camera let's see alright so you can see some good detail but as far as the milk stains are concerned see it's not easy to see but with this one you can see right there see that there's that discoloration you can see that with this this is a super really awesome lens and I have a a few of these I have an extra one um, if anybody wants to get one from me just let me know um, this is a not a cheap one though you know but I do have this one I just like this lens a lot this is the best lens out of the ones that I have um, but for those of you who don't have um, any kind of loop um, and you don't want to spend this is like I think like a hundred dollars but you could get it cheaper you know if you look around um, obviously if uh, you're gonna get one from me I'm not gonna charge you a hundred bucks but um, for those of you who are kinda on a budget you can get this one it's a Belomo uh, ten times uh, it says triplet here and the field of view is pretty good you know field of view meaning you know like this one has a bigger field of view but it's more like a magnifying glass than a loop um, but uh, this one is a lot cheaper it's very affordable and I got this on eBay too and see like when you look with this let's see yeah the lens is not as good as the other one right so it's still good it just it's a little bit harder to use and the, what I like about this one is the the frame here is all metal it's, or iron very well constructed loop and pretty good to use so like if you don't want to spend too much Belomo uh, they have a 10 times they have a 12 times 20 times I think for most people like collecting coins you just get a 10 times loop right so let me see if I have any others to show you let me see if there's any errors on this one maybe you guys can see it let me get it to focus first yeah there's a brown see that brown little dot over there see if I can use the Bolomo to blow it up there it is here's the Bolomo doing the work try to blow it up a little more then it goes out of focus right so this is the best you can see with that one let's try it with the other one here the Alplanatic one here yeah much nicer look at that much nicer clearer picture of the problem there right and then we'll use this one see this is more like a magnifying glass but you get the light so you get to see yeah in a, in a different way it's not gonna magnify it as well as the other two because it's already kinda big but you get the light and you get to see the problem of your coin now this one is an older coin so it's got all kinds of like problems but that's okay because you know that's just the way the old coins are so um yeah so now let me segue over on the screen on the computer and show you where you can get some of those um loops and um also the easy jest like the dipping solution and if you don't want to buy those and you want to create your own solution i think there's a way to do that if i can find that information i'll leave it at the end of this video right 
So let's first cover the easy, easiest, or I don't know how you, they're supposed to pronounce this, but for just about 10, 11 bucks, you can get a five ounce container of this solution. And I think you just mix it with water. Um, I don't know if you guys know of um, Big Stack McGee, who is a very solid foundation guy on the YouTube Silver community. He actually did a really nice video on uh, Easy Easy Est. If I could find his um, video, I'll leave the link in the description below. So he tells you exactly how to use this. Okay. So it looks like this ten dollars and ninety six cents is the cheapest one. Uh, I can go and uh, do lowest price first. Yeah, ten ninety five. So I'll leave a link to this listing so you can. I'm sure the prices will change from time to time. So like you could just pick the cheapest one. Um, and pick up one of these if you don't have one and you want to remove some toning. Now the loop that I showed you that has the light built in, uh, it's called the Eschenbox Mobilux and they have varying degrees of the magnification. Um, this one that I used was 10 times, so over here you see for $93.99, but that's, um, that's actually a better price than some of the other places. See, they, they charge a lot, even more, 149 So that's just way too expensive. And so this place is charging $269. Um, the prices really vary. Like this one here is $65.99, and this is from eBay. So I'm going to show you some eBay listings. That's probably the best one. And you don't want, like, a, this one's a six times. I don't know why this, the lower power ones are more money, but... Uh, I'm going to show you the eBay listings because they have better prices here. So take a look here, $65.99 with $7 shipping, um, $66.63 with $10 shipping. So somewhere around $75 bucks around there, um, give or take. Uh, you could do, this is actually on lowest first already, so this one would be uh, the cheapest. It's just that um, uh, when you click on this, uh, make sure you check the seller uh, rating here on the right. He's got a 98.7, uh, but he does have 2,500. Um, so that's not too bad. But from what I've seen, um, there were some sellers that were kind of shady selling this. So um, let's take a look at this one here. All right, 99.1. That's not too bad. So I think they clean up the guys who were kind of like shady i think i don't even think they're from japan they might be from somewhere else so uh i'll leave a link to this uh listing as is where um you'll find the the cheapest one on the top when you click on the link okay i'll leave it in the description for this one so the next one that i'm going to talk about is the eschen box uh 10 times loop it has this thing called the aplanatic lens um this is my favorite one and you can get one here for 77 um but they're usually a little bit higher in price similar to this mobilux um but here's one for 99 here's one for about 80 dollars here's another one for 80 dollars and they tend to be from japan i don't know why um here's 89 so this one is really the nicest lens out of the ones uh well check it out this one has a cleaning cloth that comes with it so here's 99 so you get the picture um so this one uh is also a very very high recommendation for me uh if you are looking to get a loop okay and you don't mind spending the extra money for it and i'll leave a link in the description for this one too and the more affordable route for a loop is this one below mode triplet 10 times uh, this one says uh, Russian Federation. I don't know if you want to buy from there, but there's some, a few from Belarus, but I'm sure there's some from uh, the United States as well. Um, maybe this one might be good. So um, I just want to give you those options for um, uh, loops here. And let me see if I could find the information on uh, a way to create your own cleaning solution if you don't want to use Ezest. All right, so I found the video that I watched a long time ago on how to remove the tarnish. This is not for removing milk spots. It's just tarnish, you know, the toning on your coin. If you want to remove him, uh, he has a video here, so I'll leave a link to this video as well. But he's basically saying you need 
an inert bowl such as glass or ceramic, two cups of very hot water, a teaspoon of table salt, a piece of folded up aluminum foil, and a tablespoon of baking soda. And I actually tried this and it did work. It, it removed the toning from my 10 ounce bars and that Liberta uh, coin that you saw before early in the video. So this does work, but I should try the, the solution, the easy zest solution too. And here's the video from Big Stack McGee, a review of EZS coin cleaner for silver bullion. And he gives you um, a tutorial on how to do this. He's got two plates um, and you could just watch this through. I'll leave a link to this video as well in the description box. So check him out. Um, you know, uh, wow, there's an ad here for EZS, but uh, check out your coins. If you had some coins just sit in a box for a long time and you haven't checked it out, just kind of go through them and see if there's any problems with your coin. So uh, I, I hope the video helps. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, just leave them down below. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, hit the subscribe button and I'll speak to you guys later.